Final cutting, a pecan tree with chainsaws and maul. William Hovey Smith, 2019. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and also a new business book, Create Your Own Job Security. In Backyard Deer, I talk about survival having to do with taking food from the outdoors. So it's not unusual that I work up trees and such for my own use. Now, this tree is a large pecan that was felled by Hurricane Michael near my house. And we've been working on it for a while, and we started with a small electric chainsaw. And now we progress to a larger bow saw and maul to work up the huge sections of the trunk. Considering all the work this saw has done in cutting these many rounds from this huge pecan tree, I've gone ahead and checked the tightness on the blade and adjusted it. Uh, we are also using some pre-mixed fuel here which is now available instead of having to worry about getting the mix exactly right for the saw. And we are using official chainsaw bar oil here uh, to keep the thing running and keep it running well. And so far it's done good. And we'll see how far we can get along towards cutting up this huge trunk behind me and getting it into sections that, well, I and maybe one other guy can manage. One chainsaw full of gas managed to make one cut through that tree, which is actually more like two feet in diameter, more like 24 inches in diameter, but not get quite all the way through. I've got a wedge in that first round, and I'm get the electric chainsaw out and see if I can get it underneath the wedge, which I can, and cut that last piece free. Now I'm working on that second cut, and we're not as far along. Uh, I've got it on both sides of the tree, but I don't know if I can reach all the way through it to get to the bottom. So we're facing exactly the same situation as we've done with these previous sections of this trunk. Our two chainsaw approach has been validated. And I did manage to cut through the bottom there and get that protruding piece that was connecting the two parts of the trunk cut. Now the long piece you see standing up was one that broke when the larger section of the trunk was taken off that root ball. So that side still have to cut away and I'll probably use a big chainsaw to take care of that. You can see all the coarse cuttings uh, kicked up by the big bow saw. And I now have my improvised wedge up there ready for deployment. And we'll see if I can break it out. Uh, it may. But at least it'll relieve the pressure a little bit on the bottom and enable me to get a better cut with the saw. Uh, I don't know if there's a limb down there or a knot or something, but there's something down there holding that. to bounce out rather than bite. Right up here. Well that did spread it a little bit more. Whatever we're holding it is on the other side. So we'll get it from that way. Well, I think we are.
are through. Indeed we are. Whoa. So that's what we had to cut through. Although the tree ball still awaits my attention, I now have the area in front of it cleared so I can get a dozer in there and help me move it. But I'm going to knock the earth off that ball and do some cutting on it first. But we have now taken the wood and completely piled it up and got it more or less ready to dispose of. For a pecan, which is usually white in the sapwood, uh, a lot of this is mineralized and very colorful. Uh, that particular piece there is nearly heart-shaped, appropriate for Valentine's Day. And as we go in the larger sections, yeah, there's some heartwood in a lot of it. If there are some wood carvers or wood turners or whatever out there, and you all want it, you know, come here and I'll sell it to you. Uh, $50 for the big rounds and 20 bucks a piece for the smaller ones would come right away because uh, we're not going to hang on to this. Well, chainsaw, maul, wedges, and I, along with the help of a couple of friends for one day, have reduced this tree finally. It's taken quite a while. It's taken quite a lot of energy to do it. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Besides backyard deer hunting, I have other outdoor books. And these include crossbow hunting, extreme muzzle loading, and practical bow fishing. In Create Your Own Job Security, I advocate starting businesses as and when you need them to accomplish your life goals. I worked on cleaning up this tree for a period of months between hunting season and weather events. And the key to doing this is to take your time and be careful. Do what work when you can, but when you need help, ask for it. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 725 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. For more information on my business books, you can go to createyourownjobsecurity.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.